We've got uh, we got Al Tips uh, join us on the uh, Keith Nunley Nationwide Insurance Hotline. Uh, Nationwide Insurance, uh, re- bundle your home and auto insurance today to save up to 30%. You can call Keith Nunley at Nationwide Insurance, 931-723-7040, to see how much you could be saving. Uh, Al joins us WCDT, the voice of the Franklin County uh, football. Uh, Al, tough night tonight for the Rebels. Hey, it was. It was a very interesting first quarter as nobody could really get anything going much in that first quarter. It was 14 seconds left before they finally broke a 28-yard run and put it in the end zone. The point after was good. And then uh, about uh, two minutes or so later, they break a 64-yard run up the middle and make it 14 to nothing. And then at the 8.47, they break off a long run, end up with a four-yard run into the end zone. Make it 21 to nothing. And then with 43 seconds left in the second quarter, they connect on a 17 yard pass in the end zone. It goes up 28 to nothing. Then they score two more times in the third quarter before Franklin County can put together a drive late in the ball game. And Blake Pickett manages to complete one to Darvin Tate, a uh, five yard touchdown pass for the only score for Franklin County. But the youngsters, guys, put on a show in the fourth quarter. They held them to almost negative yards in the fourth quarter, and they put on about a 70-yard drive to end the game up. Now, uh, Mount Julie ended up with 396 yards total offense to Franklin County's 207 on the night, and it was equal. We ran 51 plays to their 46 plays, so it was a pretty interesting night. And, uh, of course, our our leading runner uh, for the night was Jarius Johnson, he had nine carries for 73 yards, averaging 8.1 yards. So, you know, we had some damage. He had one big run, but we just couldn't get anything cooking, and they had big plays on us all night long. So it was a toughie. Next week, we got Fedville. It's homecoming, and you know what homecoming's like. Oh, we, have a, we have a poll that we check with coaches about homecoming. Most of them will not say it really loud out loud, you know, but they do they, they do think that it's a little sketchy because it always is something that uh, takes away the attention of the players. Dennis Weaver, Eric Keith talking to Al Tips, the play-by-play voice for the Franklin County Rebels on our uh, network station, our network partner, our charter member, WCDT. Uh, Al, uh, that last drive, I was listening into your broadcast uh, tonight, and uh, you know, it, even though it was you know, the score very lopsided, that last drive was very important uh, for Franklin County to get those last points up on the board. And it was our, our third quarterback. It was uh, Pickett that came in, and he looked sharp throwing the football. He's the one that completed most of the passes that we completed tonight, and and he had a good drive. Of course, it was a couple of penalties. You know, we beat them on comebacks, on passers, and the uh, defense they did nothing but to, to shut us down or knock us down to keep us from breaking them loose and uh, and got penalties. But he was sharp, completed a bunch of passes right there at the end, and he was a bright spot on the field tonight for us. But, yeah, it was a great drive and a good momentum thing for the youngsters. All right, uh, Al. I um, I'm I'm at a I'm at, at a bad spot here on my on my scoreboard, and I think looking ahead at uh, for next week, uh, you're back at home next week. I think against Lincoln County, uh, Lincoln County falls tonight to Giles County. These are going to be two teams that are hungry for a victory. Yeah, and, and I'm hoping that with it being homecoming, that the guys can put something together. They've got an off week the week after that. They got an open date, so. You know, they can put everything on the line and rest for a week before they uh, go the road to Columbia after that. So uh, let's hope we can have a good diversion and make something happen positive at home against Fayetteville, which has always been a big rivalry game as well for Franklin County through the years. All right. Uh, Al, we appreciate it as always. Take care of yourself. We'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Have a good one. That is Al Tips of WCDT.